it is mystery box time once again today i have a mystery box valued at 125 dollars so pretty good box good price let's do this what i got here is one box that has a total of five mystery boxes inside of this each mystery box was a $25 a piece. This is from Poptopia. So what they do, if you buy one mystery box, uh, every pop, before they even sell them, they're pre-packaged and pre-sealed. You pick the number of box you want, they slap the label on it, they ship it out. Their terms of service, if you buy more than one mystery box, per their terms of service, they open up the sealed box and they repackage it into one bigger box. So as the consumer, you know ahead of time that your mystery boxes will be opened up and reconsolidated. So per their terms of service, you know exactly how they do their mystery boxes ahead of time. So it's all just a factor of trust that when they repackage your boxes, you get what you're supposed to get in your original mystery box. It's all a thing of trust. But the consumer knows ahead of time what to expect and how they sell their mystery boxes. And in the past, I've had good luck with Poptopia. I've had bad luck with Poptopia. You know, you won't always get a top grail out of your mystery boxes. They're a total gamble. So these is $25. I think for each mystery box, $25, you got two pops per mystery box. So there should be a total of 10 pops in this box. Nothing has guaranteed value. I'm not guaranteed to get my money back, you know? So we know that ahead of time. So I kind of expect to probably, you know, still get close to my money back, but there are some grails available in this box. So I could end up getting a grail out of this thing and how cool would that be? So here we go. First one. Each one should come in a 0.45 millimeter protector case, which just adds a little bit more to the value, you know, because everything comes in a case already. So first, let me find the back of it. There's the back, are you ready? One, two, three. Fortnite, Dark Voyager. So this would be the common one. So each mystery box that I buy will contain two pops. One of the pops will be either an exclusive, a chase, a vaulted, a grail. The other pop will be a common, so this is the common one. The main hit from your mystery box will have the number of a mystery box on the top of your Funko Pop. So that one's just a common. Next, number two. Find the back of it. Where's the back? Okay, there's the back. This one does have a paper on top of it, so this will be the hit. You ready? Oh, one, two, three. The Joker, Death of the Family, Hot Topic. Hey, that Joker is kind of awesome looking. Woof. I think this, this is box number 59. I think this actually is a pretty new Funko Pop that's come out recently exclusively to Hot Topic. Really cool looking though. But I think it's pretty much, it's just, it's just worth like retail prices, like, you know, $12. So, next. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Let's see what we got. Number three. Come on. There's the back of it. You ready? One, two, three. Lando Calrissian. That's cool. Everybody loves Lando. You gotta love Lando. So this is one of their, this actually, this is a newer one. This is from their newest series. So this is just, this is the common Funko Pop. There's no sticker on top of it. This is just a common. So it's gonna be worth pretty much like, you know, retail. Next. Ooh, this one's actually taped up. It might be a good sign. The, the past three weren't taped up. This one's taped up. Hmm. What is this? There we go. Let me find the back of it. 
This does not have a paper on top of it. So this has to just be a common one again, but it was taped up. Where's the back? There it is. You ready? One, two, three. Tokyo from La Casa de Papel. I have no clue what this one is. Looks like some kind of a TV show. Never heard of it. But this actually is just, just a common again. So I've gotten out three commons and one hit. So there's got to be some hits coming out here eventually. There should be five hits. So next one, number five. Let me find the back of it. There we go. You ready? This one does have a sticker on top of it. So this one will be a hit. You ready? One, two, three. Star Lord Chase. Cool. I got this out of a mystery box, I think recently. Pretty sure I did. So there's another Star Lord Chase. He's actually worth around about 20 bucks. So that's not bad. Here we go. Get something good out, something big. Find the back of it. There we go. You ready? This one has a note on top of it. So this one is a hit. You ready? One, two, three. Shazam! Glows in the dark. This one is a very new one. It came out of Hot Topic. So it's Shazam! Glows in the dark. So this is the original Captain Marvel Shazam. So, eh, not bad, but pretty much it's just, it, it is an exclusive, but it's just pretty much worth retail. So, eh, you know. There's still two hits left though. Next. So we got four left and two hits. There's the back. This one is just going to be a common one again. You ready? Oh, one, two, three. Oh, that's the same one from earlier. Dark Voyager. So you can get duplicates out of these mystery boxes because, you know, there's no guarantee. So I got two of the Dark Voyager commons. Let's keep going. Next. This will be number eight. the back you ready this one is a hit you ready a one two three oh i've got this one like uh three or four mystery boxes now the batman who laughs dark knights batman who laughs yeah this is pretty much just it, it is a hit but it is just a common funko pop in terms of in terms of price so yeah two left Number nine. Okay, this one actually is the hit. I'm going to put this thing down to the side. We can wait on that hit. How's that sound? Let's just do that one last. And here's number nine again. Yeah, this one just is the comment. There's the back of it. You ready? Oh, one, two, three. La Casa del Papel, Berlin. Never heard of this TV show. That's number nine. And here's number 10. Where did, where did it go? Here we go. Number 10. One, two, three. Target exclusive Captain Marvel glows in the dark. So this is pretty much, I think this is like what? $20 figure. It just came out at Target a couple weeks ago. Very, very new pop still. But, man, cool looking though. Okay. So, that's what we got. Let's do some Let's do some prices. Because I didn't really hit anything big out of this box at all. So, this Berlin is around $10, according to the Funko app. Dark Voyager, according to the Funko app, is about $9. I got two of them, so there's $18. Bucks. So, Tokyo is worth about $9. So Lando Calrissian is worth about $10. The Joker Death in the Family is worth about $15. Star-Lord Chase, worth about $21. Shazam Glow in the Dark, Hot Top Exclusives, worth about $15. Batman Who Laughs is worth about $14. Glow in the Dark, Captain Marvel, Target Exclusives, worth about $21. Everything's worth about $133 in value. 
So I spent $125 and pretty much broke even with just up just a few dollars from what I spent. So if you're a collector in terms of value, you got all your money back. If you're going to resell these pops, once you resell these things after selling fees, you're going to lose money. So if you're a collector, you should be happy. You got your value back. So this is a mystery box. Not all mystery boxes will be profitable. Some break even, some lose money. This one pretty much broke even with a couple bucks on top. So if you cannot afford to lose your money buying mystery boxes, do not buy them. Mystery boxes are a gamble. Don't waste your money if you can't afford to lose your money. You know what I'm saying? I will see you very, very soon. Funko Bad Guy, out.